unfettered or unregulated capitalism uh, is about societies that cannibalize themselves. Uh, they, it, it, when, when capitalism is a, the dominant ideology, uh, and as Marx understood, it's a revolutionary ideology. It turns everything into a commodity, including human beings. Uh, and of course, natural resources. Uh, and it exploits uh, these commodities uh, until they are exhausted and they are destroyed. And that's precisely what has happened. Uh, we uh, have allowed all of the restraints, which were never heavy enough, on the capitalist system to be lifted. Uh, and built into capitalism is a self-destructive quality, a form of self-annihilation. And that is what we are undergoing at this moment. It's, it's, it's a form of collective suicide, in a way, because uh, the ramifications of this economic collapse uh, are going to be played out far beyond the economic sphere. Uh, it's going to deeply disrupt the social, cultural, uh, as well as the economic life of ordinary Americans. And yet they're trying to fix the problem with capitalism. Yes. Well, that, of course, is what's so tragic. They're trying to sustain an unsustainable system. In terms of the, at least the Western industrialized countries, we seem to be alone yeah. in this behavior. Why is that? What is it about us? I think it comes from being an imperial power. Um, imperialism is a disease. And all imperial societies end, finally, as we end. That the tyranny they impose on others, they finally impose on themselves. I mean, that's what Thucydides wrote, that the tyranny Athens imposed on others and finally imposed on itself. The people who run imperial politics, um, and imperial politics by its nature, uh, is based on exploitation and violence, uh, insinuate themselves into domestic politics. Uh, you know, we may not like the war in Iraq, but we must never forget that for many corporations, this war is a really good business. The war is a good thing in their eyes. Uh, Lockheed Martin, Halliburton, Raytheon, they make a lot of money off of this war. And, um, and I think that, that it's, it's, there's not a disconnect between what's happening on the streets of Baghdad and what's happening in Flint, Michigan. There is a violence to all this, isn't there? Yeah. I, I don't mean just the violence of shooting somebody with right. a gun, but... That's right. Um, the economic system has sort of created this, um, it seems, this cruelty. I wondered for a long time if, if a country that was founded on genocide and then built on the backs of slaves is ultimately a country that either, if it doesn't redeem itself in some way for that behavior, uh, just won't last. Well, I think it's, it's, it's dying. We are in the throes of a giddy intoxication with illusion. That's what happens when societies die. Um, the worse it gets, the more disconnected they often become. Uh, and, and that's how you end up with demagogues and tyrants who promise magic. I think people are starting to get a real sense that, that an avalanche has come yeah. down the mountain. Right. And people are confused. First of all, they don't understand it. Yeah. They don't, at its core, they don't understand what's going on. We've allowed the elite to corrupt our values, and we don't have values anymore. We don't have ideals. Ideals can never be achieved. Ideals are like stars that guide you and that throughout your life, um, and uh, they set standards. Um, and, and we don't, you know, we've bought into this celebrity culture. It's all about presentation. The American dream was always a myth, uh, but the possibility of advancement in America was real. 
Um, and dreams were something that you attained or you sought to attain, you strove towards. Illusions are different. Illusions you live within. And I think we are a society that's lost the capacity to dream and lives in a vast illusion. What kind of world um, do you think we face over the next couple of decades? Well, all of this is tied into the environment um, because globalized capitalism has not only exploited human beings, it's exploited the natural resources that sustain the human species. And all sorts of people who have spent their lives studying climate change from, you know, Bill McKibben on down uh, have warned us that time, we don't have a lot of time left. So it's not just that capitalism has destroyed our economic system and hijacked our political system, but it literally is extinguishing the system that sustains life. Uh, if that's not thwarted soon, uh, and, and we already know that the planet will continue to heat up no matter what we do, even if we were to stop 60% of our emissions now, which is sort of the minimum that most people are calling for who follow the degradation of uh, the planet, uh, then we will begin to see massive dislocations, environmental refugees, uh, further depletion of natural resources, overpopulation is also an issue. I mean, the UN estimates that by 2050, the size of the planet will double. Um, and that kind of a world will not be a peaceful world. Uh, we think in the industrialized world that we're not overpopulated, uh, but that's only because we consume such a disproportionate share of the world's resources, 25%, when we as Americans consume 25% of the world's petrol. Well, once those resources become harder to get and more expensive, uh, you know, I, I think that the studies say that uh, Great Britain has roughly 60 million people, but if it had to, uh, on its own resources, sustain a population, it could sustain a population of 18 million. Uh, that's some 43 or 40, 43 million Britons who can't be sustained. Uh, so, so that means they have to take from somewhere else. Well, that's what, that's what we do now, but it may become harder and harder to take from somewhere else uh, as these non-renewable resources are destroyed and decimated. So I, I think that it, it gets back to the whole ethic of capitalism, which is everything is a commodity to be exploited. And we are seeing the consequences of the exploitation of human beings and the suffering that that entails. But twinned with that is the exploitation of the natural world. Uh, and just as they are destroying lives, they're destroying the ecosystem itself.